What's going on guys? Geosnow right here, welcome to Mode My Eye. In today's video we're going to present you a new tweak that is called Modular CC that allows you to get the new control center from the iOS 11 on the iOS 10. Of course that being iOS 10.2, 10.1.1, 10.0.1 and 10.0.2. They are currently jailbroken with the yellow jailbreak. Now of course I am jailbroken currently so uh, this is how it looks like. This is a sneak peek of how it looks like. Of course you can move these uh, toggles around. This is not the original arrangement. Uh, it comes with a different um, layout but you can of course drag them around. You press a, a little bit on them and hold and then you're able to move them around and you know put them in various uh, places now the arrangement system is not the best for the moment uh, it's really hard to you know snap them correctly uh, together so that it looks okay but once you get it done uh, you're going to somehow get a very good feeling on it anyways you can see there are a little bit of uh, edges in here uh, there's too much on the left and too less on the right but that's something that's going to be fixed the um, brightness controller in here does work and uh, it is actually pretty accurate compared to the um, iOS 11 style. Now the, the reason uh, my um, audio control is grey and I cannot control it and it's uh, stuck to the half is because I'm recording currently and the audio has changed to the uh, Mac source. So um, yeah, this is something that actually happens even on the normal control center. So there is not a bug in there. You can activate the flashlight of course, uh, but the icons seem to disappear when you do that so that's another bug keep that in mind this is a beta tweak so there are a lot of bugs that will eventually be fixed the camera toggle works and the calculator application works and so on so everything works normally as you can see uh, yeah nothing gets stuck and so on I have tested this uh, tested this a couple of minutes ago and it does work let's see what settings we have and then we're going to go into the price and the repo well not a lot of them actually, when you add it for the first time, you add it for free, but the tweak is actually paid, it's $1.99. So when you add it for the first time, it installs, but then when you go here in the settings, it's going to ask you to buy the tweak and to activate it with a serial number, with a key that we're going to get in here. They call it the license key. Anyways, after you add the key and respring, you're going to get this interface in here. Again, it's modular CC, the repo is repo dot sparkservers.co.uk it's a UK website and uh, it was created by Spark Dev. It has this enabled in here but there is a problem there is a bug that I have spotted whether you disable it or enable it it will still stay enabled once you enable it you cannot disable the tweak anymore that is a little bit of a problem but I'm sure it's going to get fixed in the uh, in the next updates so you won't be able to get the old one back unless you uninstall the um, modular CC for the moment in this version. This is a problem that I have found. Now, of course you need to respring, but even after, after I respring, it's still in there. So anyways, this is a snap size, which is currently set to uh, 11.2 uh, in my case. A little bit of an info about it would be nice as well. Wiggle while, uh, sorry, wiggle when editing is something pretty nice. If you enable it, uh, when, you, when you go back in here and you try to, to move these, it will start to wiggle them, of course, as, as the applications do. So let me try to show you. I'm going to, to respring. So click respring. And it's going to respring. Okay. It's going to take a little bit of spring. Anyways, I'm going to input my passcode in here. Now, if you go back in here, let me show you. Okay you can see they are wiggling around. So uh, you can still move them, but they are wiggling exactly as the applications do when you try to move them. And um, yeah, they stop after you, you press um, anywhere on the screen or if you press the home button. Anyways, going back in here, let me try to, to find it back. And it's this here, modular CC. That's pretty much it. You have the reset button positions, which once you yeah, once you press it, it's going to go back to the normal layout, which is this one in here. Oops, I have activated Twitter. Okay, it's this one in here. This is how it comes by default, but of course you need to arrange them and so on. Okay, I'm going to move on to Cydia to show you from where you get it and how it looks like. So keep, keep in mind again, it's a beta tweak. So you're going to have a couple bugs, you're going to have some issues at the beginning, but they will be fixed. Uh, after um, after a while. So 
The repo is Sparks repo, which is available at repo.sparkservers.co.uk, as I mentioned earlier. And you can go ahead and here on Twix and find it, or you can search for it, modular CC, and it's uh, the version 0.8 beta. So it's still in beta from Spark. So this is pretty much what you need to do in order to install it. Not a lot of settings to, uh, to customize, probably there will be more in the next versions and in a final release. For the moment, for a beta tweak, it's pretty nice, it simulates the um, iOS 11 control center pretty well. Uh, the controls are not 3D touch uh, available, so or you know, force touch available, so it's not like on the iOS 11 where you press and uh, it reveals more, but it's still quite okay, it's still quite nice. And uh, yeah, after the uh, the bugs that are currently available will be fixed, this will be a pretty interesting tweak. Probes to the author. Anyways, if you wanna if you wanna get the repo, it's in the description down below. So till the next time, do not forget to subscribe to stay updated, give this video a thumb up if you like it, give a thumb down if you don't, and Geosnow, peace out.